Hey folks, warm in the valley today, but more importantly, a lot of cloud cover helping us or keeping us from getting quite so hot. It did get a lot hotter to the north, and that's where the bigger rain has shown up this afternoon between Corpus Christi and Laredo. In fact, there's a pretty strong cell moving from Duval County over to Webb County right now. That's producing some pretty good thunder and lightning, but notice all this stuff. That's the stuff that came around just north of Corpus Christi, working its way off to the west-southwest, and most of this should be in the process of fading away over the next hour or two, but if you're traveling northward, if you happen to be on 281, 77 or even on 83 going up to Laredo, you'll probably run into at least a shower before this stuff fades away and it could kind of sideswipe us, but I think most of this misses the valley as it's done all day long. We've seen isolated showers, but not much more than that. We've just had the clouds instead and the clouds have been thick and that's what's helped keep temperatures down and you need temperatures to warm up a little more. That's how you get the thunderstorms going. So it's been kind of a, a mixed blessing those clouds today. Now future track says the clouds stick around tonight, it says all the rain stays just to the north of us, so it stays relatively quiet. During the daytime tomorrow, though, look, there's the sea breeze again tomorrow afternoon. By 3 o'clock, stuff tries to fire up in the coastal counties and then move inland, and by 4 o'clock, there you go, and by 8 o'clock, it's all gone again. So at least spotty showers possible again tomorrow. Today, most of it missed us. At least tomorrow, the possibility is still with us, and it goes into Sunday as well. I think Sunday is probably less active than tomorrow, but at least the possibility does exist again. As you look at the bigger picture, and take a look at this, because if you look closely, you can kind of pick out where the big H is. If I draw it right there, that helps, right? But everything's going around it. So this stuff back here goes up and over. This stuff comes down over here. But then there's a bump in that flow right there, and that's the trough. That's the little system that is allowing that moisture to kind of sneak into South Texas. Is an indentation in that high, and we end up seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially just to our north. Now, that disturbance moves in tonight and tomorrow, and it pulls a little more tropical moisture in with it, so that's why I think the sea breeze could still activate tomorrow. And then by Sunday, that system's well off to the west, but still a little tropical moisture around, so spotty showers are still a possibility. So if you look at our rain chances the next three days, 30% tomorrow, mainly sea breeze stuff, and then 10% after that for Saturday, for Sunday and Monday, rather, so the chances do taper off. Long range models hint at an increased flow of tropical moisture by the end of next week, giving us a better chance of rain again. So for tonight, a uh, spotty shower thunderstorm can't be ruled out, although most areas most will stay dry. And then tomorrow, partly sunny with about a 30% chance for a shower thunderstorm, primarily along the sea breeze. Here's a look at the next seven days. You notice we warm it back up into the mid to upper 90s for a couple of days, and we bring it back down again as the cloud cover increases again, and we see an increased chance of showers again in the end of next week. But so far today, all the big stuff has stayed just to our north, right on the edge of it. Can't say we won't get sideswiped in the northern part of the area tonight, but then tomorrow, spotty stuff on the sea breeze once again. That's your updated First one five. Thank you for the forecast.